Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. Today, we're going to take a no BS look at Chainlink, and it goes by Link, L-I-N-K. Now, this is a non-biased look, and I'm just going to forward the information from going down the rabbit hole. And I'm going to be as efficient and as simple as possible so that you will have the information you need to make an informed decision if you want to put this in your portfolio or not. Now, that being said, let's get to it. So basically, uh, Chainlink is a decentralized blockchain oracle that connects off-chain data and brings it on to the blockchain. It has unbelievable real-world utility. It solves a problem. And the big problem we are having right now is that we are basically transitioning from Web 2.0 to Web 3. And it reminds me of basically when computers first became mainstream, all the data and contracts and everything were in paper form. They were filed away in boxes and file cabinets. So all that paperwork had to be uploaded, scanned and uploaded into a computer or onto the internet. Well, now the next uh, transition is to take that data from your computers and upload it onto a blockchain format for smart contracts. So if you really think about it, the application is immense all around the world. It's going to get into insurance, uh, your medical. Uh, it's already making smart contracts and data for uh, real estate. I mean, think about our government, the uh, driver's license, passports. It's uh, think about our military uh, when their data has to go online. And here's the good news. Chainlink is by far the front runner. The only real competition they have is all the competition together is kind of competition. And what I mean by that, basically the, the top uh, three competitors, when you combine their account partnerships and what they've already connected with the other blockchains, Chainlink is 10x bigger and better. So they totally dominate the market. So in the very near future, all the mega data should go to Chainlink. So that's something to think about. I love their real world application and they have interoperability. You may have heard me speak about interoperability in one of my videos. If you haven't, I suggest you look it up in the playlist. But basically, interoperability is what we have to have to create Web3 and tie in everything like in the uh, metaverse and tie that into drones delivering food and self-driving cars and things of that nature. All these blockchains are going to have to be able to uh, interact. And they are very good at networking with other L1s and the other blockchains. So that being said, I think if you go down the rabbit hole, you'll probably come up with the same conclusion as I have. I believe because of the real world utility that Chainlink is a definite buy for me and should be in anyone's portfolio. That being said, I'm not a financial advisor. That's my financial uh, opinion. So please do your own homework and make your own decision. Now, that being said, let's take a look at this chart. When you look at this chart right here, um, this is the basic historical weekly chart. It has held this bottom. Look at this bottom right here. Excuse me. Look at this bottom right there. And right now, 
it is holding that line and it's starting to trade sideways and there's a lot of support right here now my thought process of anyone that's looking to get in and let's just say you're going to invest ten thousand dollars i would go ahead and consider putting about half in and then stagger down dollar cost average in so you know if you had ten thousand you'd put five thousand in um here shortly just keep watching it because it is uh basically trading on the bottom so it could break support and if the one minute let's look at the one minute if the one minute uh, excuse me um if the one minute let's see if the one minute see how it's bouncing down this is where it was today i would go ahead and, and wait i mean it's testing the bottom it, you know that's not a bad entry point but i would go ahead and just keep watching the one minute and then when i get think that it gets down in here i would deploy at least half my money and then if it breaks this support go ahead and deploy more and then if it breaks it one more time or keeps going deploy more now that's my strategy now hear me out the reason i like chain link and i love this kind of trade is first of all i am a long-term investor and i pretty much trade these coins that are very solid that have real world utility and here's why if there's a bear market or if we get some really bad news and this market drops basically overnight like it can i literally would buy some more when everyone's panicking and i'd cut my computer off and when it's all said and done i truly believe the uh, companies or the coins like Chainlink are going to rally back it may take some time but it's a very very strong software company basically and that being said one more point you need to look at these crypto blockchains as software companies because that's really what they are they're no different than say uber or tesla you know basically they're software companies especially uber uber came up with a, a world changing software and they could have easily did that on a blockchain format the only real difference between these software companies and say Microsoft is they're decentralized and pretty much everyone that owns a token has a say and an input. Whereas a stock is very centralized, you only have one entity or a small number of people making decisions. So that's a good way to look at all cryptos except Bitcoin. It's a whole different animal. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Hopefully that gives you the information to make a decision. I personally think it's a great uh, trade. It's a great long-term hold. And uh, let's look at one more thing. When you go down to the weekly and you look at where it is, I believe this top right here, this old high, is what I'm looking to break. And so. If you're buying it down in here right now, and it should start to test that. So I don't think that, I'm sorry. If you're buying it down in here right now, it should start to test this high. And then once it breaks this high, it should uh, build a new bottom right in here. Now, that being said, when you're buying down here, anywhere along here, if it actually starts to test this resistance you could cost out of it and use it as a trade um, and some people do that there's a good chance that i might take some profit when if if and when this breaks and then take about half my profit when it runs through it and then uh just let it come up and trade in this range 
and hopefully it's going to break out. And the odds are once it finally breaks its old high with the FOMO and just the way everything works with the momentum, it should continue to climb. Now, I won't take all my profit, but if this trade that we're talking about, if you got in right here, actually does take out this all time high and then maybe say another 20, 30 percent. There's nothing wrong with taking profits because as it takes out that high, it should channel down. That's normal. And so on all the way for the next, you know, 10 years. That's the way it works. So that's kind of my strategy for it. Anyway, guys, good luck. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We want you to be part of this community. Community, Please leave some comments and questions. Uh, hit the like button, smash that bell so you don't miss any notifications. And guys, y'all take care and come back.